Well, there we go. Uh, finally, um, I have been talking about this video for a little while. Uh, this is the Christmas unboxing video, or well, I mean Christmas movie unboxing. Uh, actually I actually have one more of these waiting, one separate DVD. But all of these, except for this one right here, is from Amazon. And this one is from actual Amazon or whatever, and th these four from Marketplace. So, but I'm I'm gonna start with the, start with the Amazon ones because this is a Swedish title, and if you don't want to listen to it, then you don't have to. So <laughs> I'll start. I mean, I'll, I'll finish off with that one. But um, I have one more waiting for me, actually. Or I mean, <laughs> I'm waiting for one more. Um, but uh, I'm opening them anyway. When I've opened them, I can mention which one it is that is missing. Um, but um, yeah. So let's just go ahead and open these. This is actually the second video I filmed today. <laughs> and since last time I have mainly just taken a nap. Because it's Friday today. And um, well, it doesn't matter that it's Friday, but um, I did not get a whole lot of sleep last night. So I was tired when I got up today. This is Miracle on 34th Street. Actually both. The 1947 original and the 1994 modern classic. I've never seen any of these, so um, I am looking forward to it. Uh, of course, I'll start with the, the old one, and then I'll watch the newer one. Uh, I think uh, Richard, Richard, is his name Richard Attenborough? Uh, he plays Santa Claus. Yeah, and then. Um, Dylan McDermott is in it, and Elizabeth Perkins, I assume that's a little girl from, I know she's the girl from um, Matilda, so I, I, I am assuming that that's her, Elizabeth Perkins. Uh, so yeah, should be fun. I uh, haven't ever seen them, so. A few of these I have seen, uh, but uh, not, not, I don't know, maybe half of them I've seen. I'm not sure exactly how many. Uh, this one is actually used, I haven't bought a used movie in a, a while actually. Um, I used to do that, but um, anyway, this one is in practically perfect condition except for this, the marking here of the disc, but that's that's fine. Um, this was uh, quite a bit cheaper than the a new one. Well, I mean, it was, it was more than a pound anyway, and I, I thought that was enough to get a used one, because this movie I didn't feel like I need to have it on, new, on a new copy. And this is in great condition, as I said. Sometimes with sober stocks you don't know exactly if they are going to be in great condition, but this one definitely is. Um, so yeah, I've seen this before. Not a classic, not a modern classic either, but a fun Christmas movie. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't remember much from it, but I remember that it was fun, so should be fun to watch again, I guess. <laughs> And next up here, Surviving Christmas, another one that is maybe not considered to be that great. But I, I did c uh, catch this on TV, um, well, maybe five, six years ago, perhaps. I don't remember exactly, but um, but I remember that I enjoyed it. So, and I've been wanting to see it again since then, and what better time when Christmas is coming up. So, Surviving Christmas. And then I am hoping for this to be one movie over the other. <laughs> and it is not, actually. <laughs> I was hoping for this, well, I mean, I, I kind of want to see this too. I'll be, home for, I'll be home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement. But I was hoping for this one to be, uh, the other one is uh, Scrooge with Al Alastair Sim from 1951 or whatever. Uh, so that's that's the one that is missing. Uh, it's a too bad I would have liked to see that one this weekend, but it's uh, well, I mean it's it's I mean it's it's <laughs> it's a month until Christmas, so maybe it's just might as well I might as well wait a little bit. Um, but anyway, I have a lot of, of Christmas movies to watch. I have a whole bunch that I've felt like rewatching as well down there in a pile which I've gathered. Um, so that's where I'm starting early. <laughs> uh, and I, cr I still enjoy Christmas very much, now to the big Amazon package. Uh, but of course, uh, somewhere, somewhere uh, a few years ago, this magical... Because I was able to keep it pretty long, after all, but a few years ago, this magical feeling that I had every year kind of was lost 
unfortunately. I still like Christmas very much, but it's just not the same anymore. I mean, obviously I like it because I buy so many movies and I want to get in the mood and everything. And I, I like watching Christmas movies very much, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, Santa Claus, all right, with uh, Dudley Moore. Um, don't know if this is supposed to be that good, really, but I've heard some. Well, I have. Hmm, I'm not sure if I've heard that much about it. It's just that I've seen it so many times on, uh, like, for example, your IMDb recommendations or on Amazon. Similar products, you know, bought bought by you know <laughs> customer bought product. Holy crap! Products that similar products that customer box or whatever. I see that John Lithgow is in this as well, by the way. Um, so it doesn't look great somehow from, from the pictures here, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll watch it and maybe it's not great, but I am curious to see it. This one I've wanted to see for a long time, uh, or well, for, for, for quite a while. doesn't look like a Christmas movie. The Ref, it's um, a black comedy. But it's set during Christmas. Um, yeah, an idyllic Christmas Eve turns into a night of comic nastiness when gu when Ka Gus, a cat burglar with a short fuse, takes the obnoxious chasseur family hostage after a botched burglary. Yeah, so that's what it's about. Um, so I don't know if this is gonna be maybe along the lines of Bad Santa. I'm not sure, but. Um, yeah, I mean it's a uh, what's his name Dennis 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 Leary, and especially Kevin Spacey is in this. So uh, let's see here. This I bet nobody heard about this. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not a very famous Christmas movie. Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Uh, Henry Win Win Henry Winkler. I don't know anything about this. It just looked it looked fine. You know, so I don't know if this is one of those Christmas movies that is pr produced per, uh, especially for Christmas every year, and um, just a TV movie. Uh, I don't know, but uh, anyway, got three more left here, uh, and that thing over there, of course. Uh, Trapped in Paradise. Oh, okay. Uh, Trapped in Paradise. I think I thought that the movie, this movie was called Trouble in Paradise. It says Small Town Big Trouble here. I don't know why I was... what made me a little confused about the title, but... Uh, Trapped in Paradise. Uh, you can see the cast there. Sounds good to me. And I remember watching at least a little bit of this on TV many years ago. And I got this... Um, I, don't I don't remember why I didn't finish it. or I, I don't know, but I remember that I've always wanted to see it since then, but it took me a while. <laughs> um, but I, I'm looking forward to this. I think it might be a crime comedy too, as as the ref is supposed to be. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. And then, uh, oh, Call Me Claus with Whoopi Goldberg. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about this, but. Uh, it's a Christmas movie, and <laughs> I'll check it out. And then finally, the only Blu-ray in the bunch here is uh, The Grinch. Uh, Blu-ray and DVD family edition. This is the Jim Carrey movie, and it says here on the back, on the top there of the special features, extra DVD of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So I was hoping that, that, that they refer to the old uh, animated classic, which I have not seen. Um, so let's see if there is any. There's, there's no hint on the back, as far as I can see. Uh, oh yeah. No, sorry, no. <laughs> uh, man, a lot of ambulances outside today. If you can hear them, but they they're very loud to me. So uh, I'm not sure. This is ob obviously. The one with Jim Carrey, is it not? Oh, hmm. 
I don't know if if uh, if this has the um, original or the holy crap. Are they keep do they keep going back and forth with the ambulance or something? Are they disoriented? Because um, yeah, otherwise something happened. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I can let you know. I'll let you know in the comments uh, if if this actually has the um, the animated feature, but um, or short, I guess. But I've seen this movie. I remember distinctly watching it with a friend of mine in his room like ten years ago, and I even rem remember what we were eating for some reason. Um, and so I just have this memory from watching the movie with him. And I've probably seen it since. I mean, it's probably been aired on Christmases um, many times after that. And uh, but I've never really felt like watching it again. But now, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing this again. <laughs> so it uh, should be fun to watch again. Um, I do remember that I liked it, and uh, yeah, we'll see what I think now. I, I think I remember most most of the movie still. Uh, okay, this right here from CD-ON um, is Christmas related and it's kind of like a, in Sweden and in other Scandinavian countries I think uh, more than others in the world we have a thing call, called um, Christmas calendars we uh, I, I can only speak for how it works in Sweden but I think it's pretty similar in like Denmark and Norway and maybe Finland and well uh, but every year in Sweden every year since 1960 something um, there is a Christmas calendar and that is a usually comedic um, Christmassy show directed towards children that they air from December 1st to December 24th so one for every day uh, until Christmas and they are very short and they are aired in the morning so that children can watch them before they go into school basically or kindergarten and um, they're about, well, I think the episodes vary in, le vary in length. I think some of the shows have been longer before. And uh, I don't know if all of them have been um, aired in the morning, but that has been the case for, for when I've been alive, basically. <laughs> the ones that I've watched as a child and as a bigger child and as an adult. <laughs> um, this is five hours and it's 24 episodes, so that makes them pretty short. Uh, this is 1998. And um, this has always been a favorite of mine. Um, uh, of course, there's a Christmas theme in, in the in the movie or in, in the in the episodes. So, say uh, it's the thirteenth episode, then it's most likely um, Lucia is gonna most likely gonna happen in the uh, in the show. I'm not sure if that's uh, if you're familiar with what that is, but that's this kind of this uh, holiday before Christmas or not holiday but tradition. Uh, and that, then that's most likely going to happen in the show as well. And if it's December 20th, then, you know, Christmas preparations are going to really, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, anyway, then it's going to be Christmas 20th in the show. <laughs> uh, so that's how they work it. That's how they work it. Uh, but um, anyway, this one takes place an amusement park, Liseberg. This is translated to when the um, well rides or carousels or whatever uh, when the carousels are asleep uh, or rides or you know. Um, and it's about this guy. He finds a path after it has closed for the season. After it's closed, closed, closed for the season. This uh, big most famous uh, amusement park in Sweden period I mean well the biggest one the best one if, if you ask me there is one other one in Stockholm but kind of sucks in comparison uh, <laughs> but um, they uh, or he he finds a way in after they close and um, most likely on December 1st he, he finds his way in because I think it's in the pilot and then I think you know it's it's, it's supposed to be the December 1st in the pilot too so uh, he finds a way in there and everything is closed and um, he's alone in the amusement park and then he finds out that people are actually working there and then there's some 
actually some crime going on in there and it's it's this whole thing happening I haven't seen it in a long time but I remember seeing some of it on YouTube a couple years ago um, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun to see again I mean there are so many of these released on DVD I wanna get well not all well maybe all of them mainly the ones that I've seen before to to feel nostalgic as to not not just to feel in the Christmas spirit but you know also nostalgic um, so I mainly want to get those first, but maybe even want to try some new ones eventually. I mean, I don't have many, and I probably won't be getting that much more than one every year. So it's going to take me a long time, but... <laughs> I don't know, eventually. Uh, of course, there are new ones released every year as well, so that kind of puts my little plan into some serious... Uh, yeah anyway <laughs> that uh, yeah all right i can't think of what word to use here and i know that my camera will cut off soon if i keep talking uh so thank you very much for watching and um yeah see you soon